What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94. Back at you again with another shoe review. You can already see the box, so you can clearly see we're reviewing uh, Jordan today. <laughs> so we're reviewing um, Air Jordan 4 Retro NRG. Completely forgot about it. Completely forgot to do a review on it. It's just kind of been sitting there. Kind of like, what about me? So we're going to do a quick review on it right quick. Um, you know, the shoe itself is, like I said, it's decent. It's made with really good suede, real buttery. Um, you know, it's, uh, I guess the story behind it is this was supposed to initially be for Drake. Um, it was supposed to be, I guess, part of the OVO series, but I guess they had moved away from the white and gold, black and gold, uh, you know, colorways they had been doing. Um, this is Toronto themed. He is from Toronto, so it makes sense. Um, but I guess they had some sort of falling out. I don't know if he's with Jordan Brand. I've seen him recently with Nikes and Adidas on, so I don't know. But when I initially saw the shoe first, the tongue was different. It had a red Jumpman on it, kind of like how a regular four would be. And instead of flight underneath it, it had his signature, so... I don't know if this is kind of like how the Air Bacon was, where they kind of put something over it. You know, who knows? But the shoe itself, again, seems to be made really well. I don't see any glue stains on it. Um, it's got this neat black hang tag with the flight on it. Um, it's got your regular Jordan 4 bottom. You know, um, it's got the OG netting where it's slanted and not across. It's got a plastic wing, which I'm a fan of. I'm not a fan of the suede or the leather wing, unless it's the Columbia. That's the only one, you know, or if they ever brought back the first Bling Bling 4 or Pure Money 4, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, this, this is really, you know, this is really good suede. Really, really good suede. Um, for me personally, um... I'm a traditionalist, so I wouldn't wear this with Toronto Raptor stuff myself. I would just wear it with something black and red or something that's not Toronto Raptors, you know, for me. But I know most people are going to do that. But I keep Jordan with Bulls and Wizards clothing, you know, myself personally. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to wear these with or how I'm going to wear them. But, you know... Like I said, it's a, it's a nice shoe. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's just nice, you know. Suede is the best part of the whole shoe, you know, for me. Um, inside the tongue, it's got your Air Jordan upside down, which is basic with all fours. It's just got a regular uh, Jumpman Red and sole with a black jump man, I should say. Um, you know, comes in the regular Jordan 4 box. They've been doing for a couple years now. Really since uh, the 2012 series of 4s, they've been doing the OG style box with the cement print on it. Um, these were 200 so they were $10 more than a regular 4 would be. Um, cause they're a, a energy release, which to me, that's kind of the nowadays equivalent to what the lifestyle or LS Jordans were back in the day. So, you know, all in all, it's a decent, you know, a decent shoe. Again, not great, not horrible, just nice, you know, but not a whole lot to say about it other than that. Um, again, just, it's just okay. But um, appreciate you all watching the video. Make sure and like, comment, subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure and follow me at ShortyC94. Um, I do have a shoe selling page called at the Sneaker Snobs. Um, so yeah, make sure and follow those pages if you all aren't already. And um, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Peace.